Hi, this is Miss Mango. Welcome to a little quick lesson on distributed property for day two. Welcome back. So we're gonna just think back to what we were working on yesterday, which was that when you have parentheses and an expression, you have to multiply this number on the outside times all of the terms on the inside. So three X's is three X, and three fours is 12. So that's what we talked about yesterday. We're gonna add a little caveat to it where we're gonna have a negative on the inside. So let's actually look at the same situation, except there's a negative on the inside. We still have x, but this time we have negative four. We do three times x, that's the same. We do three times negative four. So we know we'll get three x, and we know three times four is 12. And then we have to remember, when you multiply a positive number times a negative number, the result will be negative. A little triangle trick that I have used with students that forget or um, can't remember it is that you draw this triangle. It has a positive and then two negatives. You cover the triangle. If you have, sorry, you cover the part that you are looking for. So this is a positive and a negative. So I'm going to cover, I'm actually going to scratch it out. I'm going to scratch out a positive and a negative. And my answer will be a negative. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, so let's say we have four, two X minus three. That, okay, so we've got our two terms on the inside. We're gonna distribute four to the two X. So four two X's would be eight X's, and four negative threes would be negative 12, for the same reason that we talked about before. Four times three is 12, and then you have negative. Take a second to check that out, and I'm actually gonna do one more with the negative on the X number. Let's do one with a five parentheses, negative three X plus one. So we're gonna do five times negative three X, which a positive and a negative, when you multiply them, you will, will result in a negative. So we get negative 15 X. Remember our little triangle, plus, minus, minus. This has a positive and a negative, so let's scratch that out. Our result will be a negative. And then five times positive one, which is positive five. And there you go. Well, I hope that was helpful, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.